Hi, I'm going to show you how to transfer files to Bianca, to and from Bianca, using graphical tools. So to recap, Bianca is an HPC cluster for sensitive data. And to protect that sensitive data, there are some constraints in place. So you can't just up and download files to Bianca. Um, there are some constraints that are listed here. And the tool that does or satisfies all those constraints is FileZilla. So we'll be using that one. So I'll be using FileZilla to upload a file to Bianca. But the first step is to get inside SUNET. So if you're physically inside SUNET, let's say if you work at the university, uh, then you're in. I'm not, so I need to start a VPN. So I will already set that up. Um, that, that if you click on here, you can see how to set it up, or at least where to find it. And now I need to type in my university account network uh, password. So I'll type this in now. There. So because I'm part of the Uppsala University, now I have a VPN, a, a virtual private network, inside SUNET, and I can use that to, to more or less pretend I'm in. So I did that. Now it's time to start FileZilla. Let's do that, FileZilla. And let's do it like split screen. So in file still already at the left we see my local files, at the right we see the remote files, the files online. Um, um, and but we need to pick which remote site we're going to use. And that's this will be like Bianca, of course. So here it's described how to create a new site as it's called. And you need to set it up for Bianca, that's described here. And then you have a site and then you have to click on connect. Well, I already have that site set up, so I'll just show you how it looks like. It's called the site manager. Here I created it. This is screenshot in the documentation too. And the protocol is SFTP. The host is Bianca-SFTP.upmax.uu.se. And the user is your username dash and then the project name, the sensitive data project name. No password because the password needs to be given every time you log in due to two-factor two -factor authentication. So if I click connect, which I do now, I have to give my password. And this is my Upmax password, my Bianca password. So I'm going to type this in now. And now I need to add the two-factor authentication number two. So I open up an app on my phone and I see that the number is 777080. So I added this to the end. And now it connects to Bianca. So don't store your password because the chance it will be valid is one in a million. So now at the right hand side we see um, my Bianca folder. It's called it's part of the Wharf. Wharf is the is the folder where you can up and download files. So I have a file prepared at the bottom of all of these. It's called login rec oh let's call it FileZilla demo. And we're going to upload it to Bianca. For that, I need to click on this folder. So this is my private folder. And now I can just do right mouse button upload. Probably I can drag it. There are probably multiple ways to upload it to Bianca. And now my file, FileZilla demo, is online. I also see that there's another file here called test FileZilla. Let's say if I want to download it, I do right mouse button. I click on download. And now I have that file on my computer. I know that test FileZilla has no sensitive data, so that's just fine. So this means I have now showed you how to down and upload files to and from Bianca. And I wish you a very good day. Bye!